mentioned superfoods, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. I hope you can answer this. <laughs> okay. Why is sauerkraut the new superfood? <laughs> sauerkraut's a new superfood um, because it's wonderful. You get uh, a spoonful of sauerkraut delivers trillions of probiotics um, and enzymes, which are just so powerfully anti-cancer. Um, so our gut health is the center of our immune system. 80% of our immune cells are in our gut. So looking after the healthy bacteria there is just so important for whatever you're dealing with, you know, digestion, you know, stress, any, any you know, immune sort of problem, which cancer, of course, is. Um, I came across a, an interesting article recently, though, from the University of Michigan, and it was showing that healthy bacteria can help you get through chemo. And the, I think the article was titled, Gut Reaction, Mice Survive Lethal Doses of Chemotherapy. And they're talking about how important this healthy bacteria is. Wow. So great for people going through chemotherapy. Great for anyone. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have um, a lot of people that come to me and they get bloated all the time. They've got digestive issues. And they might have cut out dairy. They might have cut out gluten. But they're still sitting at their desk getting that horrible bloated feeling. Mm. And so often it's because of a lack of enzymes in their diet and too much stress. Yeah. But so having, um, you know, say... A tablespoon of apple cider vinegar or a, you know a scoop of sauerkraut before you start eating gets those digestive juices flowing so that's one of the, that, that's something that can be really practical for everybody that's watching this is yeah. you know sometimes you go to buy enzymes or probiotics very mm. expensive but you can make it on the cheap with sauerkraut so ex explain yeah. to somebody real quick how they might make some sauerkraut that has all of these enzymes and probiotics okay well to be honest with you time a bit lazy I mean I make my own almond milk I make my own juices okay. but there's only so much you can do so I haven't Actually, I've, I've tried my own kimchi, I haven't made my own sauerkraut, but I do know that it, all it involves is salt and cabbage. And, and you know, you compress yeah. it, the cabbage, you know, shrinks a little, and right. then you can just keep it for a couple, I think about two and a half weeks right. is about how long you need to wait for all those um, healthy bacteria to start start proliferating right. because basically cabbage contains those bacteria naturally on the cabbage leaves mm -hmm. and then when you're salting it and preserving it you're, you're bringing all, all those to the fore right well you just um, did a great job of explaining it even though you say you didn't understand <laughs> how to that's it it's salt and cabbage you let it sit for a couple of weeks you keep pressing it down exactly and you got the, the sauerkraut yeah so I mean, it's very inexpensive it's very inexpensive i mean i guess i'm lazy with that one because at my organic supermarket for a pound 50 again it's about same price, about three dollars. I get yeah. a delicious jar. Um, there's a brand I really like. So, okay. yeah, but I have it. You know, you have it with eggs because it's got that sort of acidity that's yeah. quite nice. Put yeah. it on top of salads. Um, it's a, it's a great thing. I have it daily. Now the Germans eat it on top of hot dogs. Yeah. Now I guess if you're getting a hot dog that's no no nitrates and none of yeah. the preservatives, that would be okay. Yeah. But you don't want to put it on top of a hot dog from the supermarket. No, no. But uh, it's interesting <laughs> you say that though because um, the healthy bacteria in the sauerkraut it it's great if you are having you know a barbecue or whatever because it's said to offset those you know cancer causing compounds that you get from cooked meat right so like the hcas yes exactly right. um so I, it's great to have around at a barbecue mm -hmm. any sort of pickled food really really good for that yeah um, you know it's funny that you mentioned that because last week we were in atlanta georgia yeah and we were sitting at a table with about 10 or 12 guys and one of the, the men there was Dr. David Jockers, who we interviewed for the oh, Quest for the Cures. Fantastic. Now, we, we ordered, it was a completely organic restaurant, mm. and so we ordered some hot wings. Now, they came out, and some of them had, you know, the black on them, which yeah. is the HCAs, heterocyclic amines. Yeah. Now, what we did before we ate them, though, is we drank this shake that mm. contained probiotics, enzymes, ginger, and a bunch of other compounds that offset the heterocyclic amines. Ah. So you can actually eat it without having the carcinogenic effect if you drink the shake first. First. So there are offset things that you can do to offset. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love hearing about these tips because people want to, they want to live a normal life. They want to, you know, be able to enjoy their favorite things.